Welcome back. As photographers, there's just a, there are just a few more items that we may want to be aware of in here. Uh, I'll show them to you real quick. Right here, options for your, uh, I'll just scroll over that again, options for thumbnail quality and preview generation. I always want high quality. I'm never really in a hurry when I'm looking through my images. I want to see them as best I can in Bridge and make a determination about what to do with them from right here in Bridge, so I like the high quality. One more thing you can do to help determine quality is you have this ability, notice as I'm moving around the preview image, I have a magnifying glass. That means I can actually click once with the mouse, and I bring up this thing they call the loop. It's a little magnifying glass. I can move it all around looking at various portions of the image, is that fence post sharp? I can check fine details. Uh, depending upon how you operate it, move it, it will flip around off in near corners. Just as soon as I tell you it'll do that, it's not going to do that here. There we go. It'll flip up, and as you bring it out to the edge here, it'll flip around. There we are. And you, look, you can look at details. This is at 100% magnification, so we're looking at pixel level. And we notice that right down here that it says 100%. If we push the plus key on our keyboard, the plus key, it'll go to 200. Notice we're now looking at 200%. Much tighter view. Things are going to get just a little blurry in this uh, magnification because we've gone in tighter than pixel view. Now if we find ourselves at 200% and we want to go back to 100%, now we hit the minus and we bounce back. So the plus and minus will toggle you the view through the loop uh, at different magnification levels. The question's always been, what do you do to get rid of thing this? Well, if you look over here, uh, let's try to get in a spot where you can see, there's a little X. Let's try to get a bright spot. There's a little X right here. If you just click on that X, it'll go away. Okay, so we've gone through and we've made our selections. Let's go ahead and for fun use our filters to look at our most favorite images. We've gone through, we've made our selections. These are a couple of raw files that we would like to open in Adobe Camera Raw and process. We can simply double click on the image or we can come over here and click on this little aperture and that will allow us to open the image in Adobe Camera Raw. Okay, from here we can then make any adjustments we wish to, and we'll get into that later, and then click Done, and we're right back in Bridge. If we look up where I'm pointing right here, all right, there's a little symbol with kind of two, two lines and two upward pointing triangles, and we'll notice them right here. These symbols mean that the image has been processed in Adobe Camera Raw and there is information about the adjustments uh, saved with the file. If these are DNG files, so there's a sidecar file that's actually embedded in this DNG uh, file. For now, let's just go back and say, okay, Andy, you've just showed us how to open up a raw file in Adobe Camera Raw. What else can we do? Let's go back and look at all of our images. Hey, here's a JPEG file. If I double click it, it will open up in Photoshop. If I come over here and click Open in Camera Raw, it'll open in Camera Raw. This is fantastic. Now we can make adjustments on this image in Camera Raw and save them if we wish to. We're going to click Cancel now because we're not wanting to do that right now. If I double click this image, it will just open right up in Photoshop. And there we go, we have it opening up in Photoshop. But we're really working on Bridge right now, so we're back here into Bridge. Okay, so now we know to open our RAW images in Adobe Camera RAW, we double click on them or we click over here. And we know how to open our other images, whether they're J JPEGs and TIFFs, we can select them, click 
the aperture symbol and they will open in camera raw or we can simply double click them and they'll open off in Photoshop. And that's it for this section.